hello everyone so today we are going to uh, enable gameplay ability system in this project and create a set of gameplay attributes to keep track of this uh, resource counters we have here so we have wood food and gold and stone and i want to use gameplay attributes so that when we create buildings we can decrease the number of uh, each type of resource that it consumes and when the players do farming as they collect food we can modify relevant counters of course they can be done with the uh, with the simple variable as well but we will have to manually think about all the replication and all other aspects but if i use gameplay attributes those things kind of come uh, for free by default it does take some overhead it does have some overhead when we set up the gameplay ability system but i think down the line it would be more beneficial for us if we stick to the gas framework when we implement the game so yeah uh, that's what we are going to start working on today add in the basic resource attributes as gameplay attributes and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done from my patreon page once you become a member you can access anything without any limits so feel free to check it out i leave the link in description below and here you can see all the episodes of this series that I have done so everything is shared here you can follow these uh, tutorials for free in my channel and implement everything by yourself so I leave the link to the full playlist also in the description and also there is another tutorial series that I did on strategy games which but here I have exclusively used blueprints unlike in this series I mean you in C++ mostly but here I'm only using blueprints, so if you are interested more in that, feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link to this playlist also in the description. All right, now let's get back to today's episode. Okay, so here in our game, we are planning to have uh, multiple resource types here wood, food gold and stone and this is population but that's not exactly a resource so to manage these resources i'm thinking of using gameplay attributes that comes with gameplay ability system i think that would be more convenient down the line when we implement everything such as building uh, houses building any kind of a building and when we do that we need to consume resources and also when the characters cut wood that also need to modify uh, these resource counters such as wood count or as they mine so therefore the thing is let's go to tokens and enable gameplay ability restart okay restarted now first thing is let's go to new c++ class and let's add an attribute set call it attribute set utilities and it's compiling and compilation fails so we get these errors so that's base that's because here now we know when we start using gameplay ability system in order to use this i need to include uh gameplay abilities in my build.cs file for the plugin yeah. okay. abilities and save 
everything. I try company. Right. Now that worked. Okay, so let's go back to the code. We close everything else. Okay. okay. This is still shown as an error, so it may not be properly loaded. So let me close this. Since I enabled the new plugin, let me refresh Visual Studio project. Reopen it. So it should solve the errors. Yeah, now I think it's okay. Okay, so so here first thing is we need to define this uh, this macro attribute accesses macro. Then let's add the public section. Under this, let's add the U property, low print. So the first attribute that I'm going to add is if game play data. Uh, well, I'll just call it wood. Okay. Of course, we need to define the U function. Is uh, yeah. yeah, there is a typo. Should be capital. No, this should be gone on report. I will update. And here we need to use that attribute accesses this macro. So this will define things like getters and setters for these attributes and this will be used to replicate this attribute, put attribute. Okay, ladies, ability system. Now, so the errors are gone. Already, system component dot h should be included. Okay, now actually, I don't need to implement this here. So, let me cut this. Implement it in the C file. And here, we need to, we need to use this header file. Add a file. So there is another function that we need to override. Uh, right. Get lifetime replicated props. Yeah, this is the one. So I don't want to implement it here. Let's implement it over here. And this is not the one. Well, most of these uh, codes I'm re I'm directly copying from my action RPG with gameplay ability system series. So I don't want to spend too much time on explaining what each and every one of these things are. But I would recommend reading more about gameplay ability system and for this case, uh, gameplay attributes, attribute sets actually. All right, let's save everything. Uh, 
Oh, this should be your resource attribute set. That's the name here. I had used your resource attribute. Actually, that's what suggested, I think, by Copilot. So that's a mistake. Okay, compilation successful. Right. Now we do know that this pattern is working. So in the same way, add attributes for food. Uh, food gold and stone as well now i'll do that off of the screen of the recording all right so i added these uh, attributes food stone and gold and then i added these on rep functions on rep food on it wood on rep food on rep stone and on rep gold and everything is implemented here okay save everything but okay compilation successful great so yeah thanks for watching now we have all the gameplay attributes we need for the next step which is connecting this and using uh inside the game so we will look into that in the next episode i want to do only creation of attribute set part in this episode so thanks for watching uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in the next episode goodbye